hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your windows computer now the first step is to run steam as an administrator so first of all go to steam click on steam over here exit now once you close steam now type in steam in windows search box and then make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open steam as an administrator then launch the game and then check the controller you can even uh, go to open file location over here and then you can make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and you have to restart steam restart steam and then launch the game next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this over here uh, you can see at the top right on steam here enter big picture mode icon so click on enter big picture mode Once the steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable or enable the steam input. So go to steam and then make a right click on the game and then select properties. Go to the controller tab and over here you can see the option which says disable steam input now you can launch the game and then check still not working then again go to properties controller and then you can enable steam input and then check so you can try both disable steam input and then if that does not work try enable steam input and then check which one is working fine for you still not working you can follow the next step now the next step is to close the game and then update the controller using playstation accessories app if you have playstation controller and xbox accessories app if you have xbox controller now for xbox controller uh, users you can open microsoft store and in the search option you can just type in xbox accessories app and then click on xbox accessories over here in my case it is already installed if not installed install it and then open xbox accessories app and now you have to connect your controller your xbox controller using the usb cable now once you connect your xbox controller using the usb cable click on this three dots which says more options and then you will see update now option so click on update now and then click on continue and here you can see updating so applying update once the update is complete now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have playstation controller in that case you can use playstation accessories app if you don't have it uh, you can just install it uh, from google search you can just go to playstation website go to playstation accessories here you can see download for windows and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and install playstation accessories app once installed in my case the app is already installed once installed you can launch playstation accessories app connect to your controller and once you connect your controller you will see your controller at the top left and if there is any update it will give you an option to update so update your controller firmware once the firmware is up to date now you can check next step is to enable or disable xbox controller or playstation controller in steam controller settings so you can go to steam at the top left here you can see steam go to settings and go to the controller tab now over here if you have xbox controller if this is disabled you can enable it and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even disable it and then restart the game and then check for PlayStation controller, you can try both enabled in games without support. You can try this, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can select not enabled, relaunch the game and then check. You can even try enable. So try all the options one by one and then check which one is working fine for you. Now, still not working. The next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can use DS4 Windows application. So in Google, you can search this application 
and you can install this application and you can just configure your controller and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of additional usb adapter or dongle connected disconnected disconnect if you have extra controller con connected sometimes we have dongle the controller dongle connected to the computer so disconnect any extra controller if you have arcade stick connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy you can just uninstall it or you can disable it in device manager and then you can launch the game and then check now next step is to remove the controller from bluetooth devices so you can go to windows settings go to uh, bluetooth and devices and you can just remove devices and then click on add a device once you remove it now you can click on add a device you can just uh, select your controller you can connect your controller once again pair it and control it um, pair it and then connect it once again and then check now the last step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working you can connect your uh, controller your playstation controller or your, your xbox controller using the usb cable the cable and then you can launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel